welcome to Mushu Samurai Stories, where you can hear about the coolest samurai ever. Today, we are talking about Sasaki Kojiro, the legendary samurai whose life was cut short in a 400-year-old mystery. Let's begin. Sasaki Kojiro was born around the year 1575 in the Fukui Prefecture in Japan. Kojiro had a strong fighting spirit from the get-go. It's said that a young Kojiro fought three opponents with a Tessin, which is a samurai fan, and won with it. He then trained at Todesaigen's School of Sword Fighting, the samurai I talked about in my last video. Kojiro then became very skilled with the long blade dueling with a very long kodachi he called the laundry drying pole, or mano hoshizao, because it looked like a long pole with the wooden sheath on it. Kojiro then beat his master's younger brother and broke off to form his own school, called Ganru, or large rock style. He was honored by his lord for his skill and made chief weapons master of his fight. Kojiro also developed a technique called the turning swallow cut, which was feared all across Japan. He used this technique to win many duels, and his school was thriving, but one opponent stood out as his greatest rival, Miyamoto Musashi. In 1612, Musashi talked to Lord Hosokawa Tadaoki and schedules a duel between him and Sasaki Kojiro on the remote island of Funashima to finally prove to everyone who was the best swordsman in the land. This is where the story gets cloudy, with a lot of varying accounts. But what is known is that Sasaki Kojiro showed up for the duel, and Musashi was nowhere to be found. He showed up three hours late. Also what is known is that Kojiro would die from this duel, never to be seen again, ending his legacy. But what happened? Well, I did a little digging, and there's about three mainly accepted theories. Theory 1 is the most accepted, and it goes like this. Musashi shows up late and taunts his opponent. Sasaki Kojiro, enraged, immediately leaps over to Musashi to hit him with his signature swallow cut technique. But he was sloppy from his rage, and before he could strike him, Musashi stabbed his blade through Kojiro's ribs, puncturing his lungs and killing him. Musashi then swore off lethal duels after this match. Theory 2 comes from Kojiro's side of the crowd, and it says that Musashi cheated by illegally making his sword longer to kind of one-up Kojiro's famous long blade, waited three hours so that the sun would be in Kojiro's eyes, and he brutally chopped him in the head when he was blinded by the sun. Theory 3 is a more recent theory brought up by historians. It says that Lord Hosokawa Tadayoki saw the Sasaki clan as a threat when him and Musashi scheduled the duel. So it's quite possible with all the mystery that it wasn't a duel at all. Maybe Lord Hosokawa sent Musashi there to assassinate Kojiro and he died of a bloody fate on the island, outnumbered and alone. We may never know what happened that day, but they ultimately renamed the island Ganrujima after Sasaki Kojiro. And Musashi vs. Kojiro went down as one of the most famous duels in Japan. Musashi went on to become the most well-known samurai of all time, and I will make a video about him soon. In modern day media, Kojiro makes an appearance in the anime One Piece. If you play the video game Dark Souls, you can fight with Kojiro's weapon in-game named the Washing Pole. Also, the characters Jesse and James from Pokemon were originally named Musashi and Kojiro. Now, if I had to pick what theory makes the most sense to me, I'd say the third theory. I think Lord Hosokawa put the hit out on him. But let me know what you think. Let me know in the comments. Did Musashi win fair and square? Did he cheat slash murder him? But hey, that's all I got for today, folks. And remember to slice that like button like I sliced this ramen.